guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look with the Eiffelet palette by Essence. This is the party look eyeshadow palette. I will also do swatches for all of the eyeshadows and I will give you my final thoughts about the palette. I also had this makeup look in the video for the Essence Velvet Matte Lipsticks and some of you wanted to see that makeup look so I will show you in this video how to create it. I will have a card here if you want to see the lipstick swatches. The price of this palette is 9 euros and 95 cents. We get 24 eyeshadows and we have four different types of eyeshadows. We have matte eyeshadows, satin, shimmer and also shimmer with micro glitter. Essence also released these eyeshadow palettes. This is the I got this rock look eyeshadow palette and also the yes I can natural look eyeshadow palette. On Instagram I have a poll and I ask you which one of these you would like to see in the next video. So go check on Instagram my Instagram stories and let me know which one you would like to see. Let me know if you have a favorite palette by Essence and also if you have tried this one. Share this video with a friend that likes eyeshadow palettes. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell to get notified for all my latest videos. And without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial! On my brow bone with an eyeshadow brush by Essence, I applied eyeshadow over ice cream. With an eye blender brush by Essence, I take eyeshadow while dancing and I apply it into my crease. This eyeshadow is not very intense when you blend it on your skin and it doesn't look like in the pan. With brush 2 to 5 by Zoeva, I take eyeshadow when I want and I apply it into my crease but closer to my eyelid. This eyeshadow is not as intense as it looks in the pan. With an eyeshadow brush by Essence, I take eyeshadow for flowers and I apply it in the outer third of my eyelid and also on the inner third of my eyelid to create that hello eye effect. With the same brush I will take eyeshadow all the time and I will apply it on top of the previous eyeshadow. With another eyeshadow brush by Essence I take eyeshadow in pink and I apply it on the center of my eyelid. Blend the edges and if you try to blend it a lot you will lose all the intensity of the eyeshadow. And I apply again four flowers to intensify the hello eye effect. For my lower lash line I will take a smudging brush by Essence and eyeshadow when I want and I apply it all over my lower lash line. With the same brush I take again eyeshadow for flowers and I apply it all over my lower lash line too. With brush 2 to 5 by Zoeva, I take again eyeshadow when I want and I want to intensify a little bit my outer crease because my eyes now look very droopy and I want to make them look more uplifted. With a pencil brush by Morphe, I take eyeshadow in pink and I apply it into my inner corner. With an angle brush by BH Cosmetics, this is number 10, I take eyeshadow too much and I apply it very close to my lashes. I apply black eye pencil into my waterline. For mascara, I will use Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. For the lips, I have used the Shine 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 Lip Gloss by Essence and this is in the color Dress Up Our Lips. I like it because it is very glossy and it looks natural on me and I think it looks very nice with the eye makeup too. So with this eyeshadow palette I have also done a soft copper eye look. I will have a cut here if you want to see the video. I have also used this palette for my Essence Advent Calendar video and for that makeup look I have used in gold on my eyelid, over ice cream on my brow bone, in pink in my inner corner, all day into my crease. Also into my crease I have blended for chocolate, 
too much and when I want and the same eyeshadows for my lower lash line and I have done a soft smoky brown gold eye look about the matte eyeshadows I am not very impressed because they are not very pigmented they have a lot of fallouts and if you tap the excess off you have nothing left on the brush and it is not easy to build the intensity for the matte eyeshadows I'm not getting these colors on my eyes when I blend them and I need a lot of time and effort to to blend them if I don't tap the excess off and I apply my brush directly on my eyes it is difficult to blend the product and my eyeshadow look patchy about the shimmer eyeshadows they are not very intense if you use them with a dry brush with a sponge tip applicator or even with your fingers I have noticed that the best way to use the shimmer eyeshadows or the shimmer eyeshadows with the micro glitter is to take a setting spray and apply it on your brush and then take with your brush the eyeshadow and press it very well on your eyelids so you don't have any fallouts and this is the only way that I have found that the eyeshadows are more intense this is something that I don't usually do I always prefer using my shimmer eyeshadows with a dry brush if you use these eyeshadows with a dry brush you have a lot of fallout they are not intense they are not very visible on the eyes and they are looking like they are not sitting very well on the eyes for me this is a negative point because a setting spray it is extra cost extra money extra time and it is something that I don't usually use in my makeup routine I was not very happily impressed that I could not even use the shimmer eyeshadows with a sponge tip applicator for some reason they were pressed into the sponge and I couldn't apply them on my eyes and they were not very intense in this palette we have a lot of satin eyeshadows and I would like some satin eyeshadows to be matte instead of satin for example eyeshadows kiss kiss and in the pool I think for this palette they should be in a matte finish not satin the satin eyeshadows blend very nice they have nice intensity but the problem is that they intensify the texture of my skin I have hooded eyes and if I apply any Thing with a sheen on my crease it intensifies my hooded eyes I'm not able to create the uplifted effect that I like with a satin eyeshadow and I prefer matte eyeshadows for my crease also satin eyeshadows they intensify my texture my skin is not very smooth and it makes my eyes more hooded and I don't like that I can say this palette is not my favorite because the shimmer eyeshadows they are not super intense and I need to use a setting spray and the matte eyeshadows they are not pigmented and they don't have the intensity that I like for my eyes you can still create a lot of different makeup looks and I like that there is a variety of colors in this eyeshadow palette and I don't have the same eyeshadows I like the color selection of this palette and you can create a lot of different makeup looks everyday looks natural more intense I don't like the finish but I like the color story of this palette I like the packaging of this palette with 9 euros and 95 cents we also get a mirror the packaging is very sturdy all the eyeshadows are in a metallic pan they are not pressed into the palette and I like that because that makes the eyeshadow palette more durable I don't like this eyeshadow palette because of my eye shape and also my makeup routine if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments if you have tried this eyeshadow palette and if you like it if you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video bye